complete hemodialysis series today we are going to see regarding another complex concept which is high flux low flux and medium flux dialyzers so what are these why the nomenclature is so that we are going to see in this high flux and low flux dialyzer these are the dialyzer characteristics to keep the understanding simple the one parameter which is going to decide whether it is high flux or low flux the predominant parameter is the pore size where is the pore this is the dialyzer these are the micro capillary the membrane in the membrane pores will be there or we can say holes the holes will be there that is the one predominant parameter which is going to decide whether it is high flux or low flux so if the pore or the hole size is bigger we can call it as a high flux dialyzer if it is somewhat smaller we can call it as low flux dialyzer is the pore size only the deciding factor no but this is the predominant deciding factor so now we will come to the technical description this is for the understanding i have told regarding the pore size now we will come to the technicality so what is the parameter that we have to take is k u f or ultra filtrate coefficient there is a video on this that i will give the link in the description you can see what is that in simple terms i have to put the k u f or the ultra filtrate coefficient is nothing but there are blood compartment inside the micro capillary on the outside this is a dialysate compartment k u f or the ultra filtrate coefficient is the amount of water which will move from blood compartment to dialysate compartment in one hour for 1 mm of mercury pressure difference between these two compartment i hope you are confused enough to okay, let me again tell you kuf or ultra filtrate coefficient is the amount of fluid being shifted from blood compartment to the dialysate compartment in one hour for 1 mm of mercury pressure difference that is called as kuf or the ultra filtrate coefficient so what will happen if the pore size is big obviously more water will come to the this another compartment pore size is small less water will move so to say as a high flux dialyzer the kuf or the ultra filtrate coefficient should be more than 20 ml per millimeter of mercury per hour so kuf or ultra filtrate coefficient more than 20 ml per millimeter of mercury per hour so 20 is the cut off so the dm residents who are seeing probably this might be your exam question also more than 20 is the high flux dialyzer less than 20 they will say previously as low flux but nowadays less than 10 kuf or ultra filtrate coefficient they are labeling it as low flux dialyzer so what is the terminology for 10 to 20 few literature mention it as medium flux dialyzer so more than 20 kuf 20 what is the unit ml per millimeter of mercury per hour if it is more than 20 then you can say it as high flux less than 10 you can you can say it as low flux between these two medium flux few literature so that is why in the textbooks you might not find the term medium flux dialyzer because there is another terminology that also we will discuss so kuf one parameter we have seen 
So what is the another parameter to say as high flux dialyzer? If the pore size is big, so what will happen? Bigger size molecule can pass through because uremic toxins, as you know, are of three types: low molecular weight toxin, again protein bound, protein non bound, middle molecular weight toxins, and the higher ones. So the high flux dialyzer can remove larger size middle molecular weight molecules also. It is high flux dialyzer because the pore size is bigger. The low flux might not remove bigger size molecules. Why? Because the pore size is smaller. So how to find that? I am going to use another terminology. Sieving coefficient that we will see in the subsequent episodes. But as of now, remember. Pore size is the predominant decider of low flux and the high flux. If pore size is bigger, water removal is big. Technically, I am using it as KUF more than 20. For the molecular weight clearance, molecular weight uremic toxin, clearance will be better in high flux dialyzer. The values and all we will discuss in the subsequent episodes for the clearance. And what is one more parameter that we can say to differentiate high flux and the low flux dialyzer is surface area. Obviously, if the pores are to be larger, obviously the surface area of the dialyzer membrane, I am telling. Obviously, it have to be larger. So that is why in the high flux dialyzer, the pores larger, surface area usually larger. And what are the advantages of this high flux dialyzer? Obviously, water removal will be more. Middle molecular or higher molecular weight molecules can be cleared. And what is the advantage of this low flux dialyzers? Clearance will be slower, water removal will be slower. We can't use a blanket statement to say this is the good dialyzer, that is a good dialyzer, either high flux or low flux. It depends on the patient characteristic you have to select the dialyzer and the situation what you want whether you want clearance whether you want water removal in the particular patient based on the patient body built that all together decides which dialyzer we are going to select so in summary if I have to tell for today's episode of this high flux medium flux and the low flux dialyzer one parameter which is going to decide is pore size, KUF or ultra filtration coefficient more than 20 comes under high flux. More than 20 ml slash millimeter of mercury per hour, the entire unit I told. If it is less than 10, comes under low flux dialyzer. Less than 10 ml slash millimeter of mercury per hour. This is the entire unit. Between these two, technically we can say as medium flux dialyzer, but many a textbook might not mention it because in literature it is the current concept which is coming or current terminology or nomenclature we can say because previously less than 20 they used to say as low flux dialyzer. Now less than 10, 10 to 20. Molecular weight clearance will be more and of course cost is also more for the high flux dialyzer. So these are the difference and regarding the clearance KOA that we are going to see in the next episode. I hope you have to see this video once again from the beginning to get these concepts. So these are the complicated concepts. I try to simplify it and the info which a resident want to know or the dialysis technologies who are preparing for the exam wants to know. With this understanding, once you start studying your book, you will get a good idea of what the content is about. So in the next video, we are going to see regarding the clearance KOA and what are all the other parameters which have an impact or which forms internal characteristic of these high flux and the low flux dialyzer. Bye-bye.